Yeah, that's about right. whether we existed on that right. day. Right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> anyway. Oh man! So we <laughs> had some along. warmth today, and we had some rain, some thunderstorms <sighs> yeah. at different places. Today started off kind of hot, mm -hmm. humid, with a little sunshine, and then the storms rolled through. Mm -hmm. But the good news, the humidity is going away with the storms. The storms kind of acting like a broom, sweeping all the humidity out to sea. We've got a nice little pattern starting up starting tomorrow. The question is, will that last through the weekend? Well, let's take a look outside to start you off in the near term. We'll take you down to Ocean City. Boardwalk is a little empty tonight, certainly in comparison with recent nights. We've seen a lot more activity down there, and that's because they had some rain. You can see the boards are still looking a little soggy, looking a little foggy out there, but dew points will begin to drop and things should improve. I think we'll see a packed boardwalk at this time tomorrow night. Let's take a look at Storm Scan 3, which is showing showers and thunderstorms have moved on out to sea. No problems left, just a couple of scattered sprinkles here and there. You can see one area of showers that move from portions of Bucks County now pushing into northern New Jersey. The rest of us really not seeing much of anything at all right now, which is good news. And while there could be a stray shower through the next couple of hours, the trend will be toward drying conditions overnight and temperatures dropping. You can see a little bit of a northwest wind has started to pick up in our far northwest suburbs. Still seeing that southwest flow. The actual front has not cleared the area yet. So while temperatures are in the low to mid 70s, dew points unfortunately are also in the low to mid 70s. But after that front pushes out to sea overnight, high pressure is going to take control. Think of it like a big bubble kind of keeping us protected from any showers, any storms, nothing's getting in here. And when we're on the east side of this high, our flow comes in out of the north and west. That brings dry, comfortable air our way. It's going to be a seasonable day tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, feeling like July is supposed to feel, but not feeling like the steam bath we've had for the past two days. Future dew points here right now, still dew points in the low 70s. It is muggy out there, but by 4 a.m., we've got dew points in the 50s to the north and west, 60s in Philadelphia, and finally by mid morning tomorrow, those lower dew points make it even down the shore. So when you're talking dew points in the 50s, that's very comfortable, refreshing air in place, and that's what we'll feel all through the day tomorrow and really through the end of the week as well. So showers and storms have generally ended again, maybe a stray one, but clouds will be clearing overnight. 73 the overnight low and for tomorrow looking great. Lots of sun, lower humidity, 87 in the city, 80 down the shore, sunny and comfy. Just a great beach day. And then we got to talk about the weekend because we're watching a new area of low pressure along the coast. It'll join forces with an upper low to the west, breezy and cooler on Saturday with an onshore flow. Then Sunday, brings a better chance, as you can see, for more widespread showers and rain. We will keep an eye on that as we head closer to the weekend, but looks like especially Sunday could turn out a bit unsettled. Near term, things look great. I think Thursday's the nicest day of the week. Sunshine, low humidity, 85 degrees. We'll start it off in the 60s. Friday, 88 with sunshine, and then again, turning a bit unsettled and possibly a bit cooler with more clouds over the upcoming weekend.